Hello everyone and welcome to today's presentation of our project Deepfake Image Detection. Before presenting the results, we will be presenting our team members. Hi everyone, my name is Parnika Damle and I was a task lead for data collection activity at Umdena Munich chapter. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Rishabh Sabarwal and I was the lead of data pre-processing task. Hello everyone, I am Akash Kundu and I was the model validation and testing lead for this challenge. And I am Imane El Makul and I am Munich chapter lead. The problem we have to solve is deepfake image detection. Deepfake are images or recordings that have been manipulated and altered to look real. Despite the usefulness of deepfakes in many fields, if used maliciously, they can have a significant bad impact on society, like spreading fake news, defamation, and identity theft. Therefore, it's becoming crucial to have a third party that is able to certify if the content online is human or AI generated. The project objective is to develop an ML model that is able with a high accuracy to, to predict if an image is real or deepfake. The project timeline is seven weeks and this is how we did it. So data collection is the most important activity for any project. And during our literature survey, we found out that the most of the data sets available for deepfake detection, they are either videos or even if they are image data set, they could not fulfill all of our requirement. And the reason was the available data, most of the available image data sets, they were not robust and generalized in the sense the deepfakes were not generated using different GAN architectures. And therefore, from our literature study, we learned that the deepfake detection and reconstruction challenge data set is most appropriate for our use because it could fulfill all of our requirements. Thank you. Thanks, Parnika. So during data pre-processing, we adopted a number of different augmentation techniques like rotation, flipping, blackout of facial features, JPEG compression, and many more to improve the model's generalizability and also reduce the computation cost. We worked with two libraries, Keras and Albumentations, and using each library, we augmented a total of 60,000 images, out of which 30,000 were real and 30,000 were deepfake images. So after the augmented data sets were provided to us by the data pre-processing team, every member was given the chance to freely train any model of their choice on both the data sets and the results were compared. 17 models were trained using a subset of 10,000 images out of the 60,000 images from both the augmented data sets to reduce the required computational power. The best five models were trained on the complete data set, which were then finally tested and compared. After looking at the classification report, the MobileNet V3 model was chosen to be deployed. For the deployment, we use Streamlit, an open source Python library that lets users interact with the web app. The users could upload an image to the website and it predicts whether the image is real or defect. And it also gives the model confidence. The image provided by the user is just stored in RAM and gets destroyed when the user leaves the site. Thank you. Thank you, Akash. And here are the lessons that we have learned that in this project. So firstly, we observed that our model was overfitting onto the training data set. And so we adopted a number of techniques like uh, added some dropout layers and used weight decay to prevent our model from overfitting. Thank you, Rishabh. Another important lesson that we learned during data collection activity was most of the available image data sets, they were not robust and generalized in the sense the deepfake images were not generated using different GAN architectures. And therefore, we freezed on deepfake detection and reconstruction challenge dataset because it could fulfill all of our requirements and the deepfake images were also generated using different GAN architectures. Thank you. Also on the project management side, we've learned that we should maximize, uh, parallelize as much tasks as possible and start the research phase early on, which helped us finish the project on time. In the end, even though this was a local chapter, we had people from different parts of the world with distinct cultural backgrounds and varying level of experience. Yet we all came together to work collaboratively on this project.
Now comes the result part of our project. These are the results of our best performing model. And we are happy to say that we could achieve comparable performance with most of the benchmark studies. For any model, its results can be best shown with the confusion matrix and also the classification report. From the confusion matrix and the classification report, we can see that there are some misclassifications that are present in our model. And here are some of the reasons that we could deduce as follows. First of all, we have some fake images predicted as real image. One of the reason is the style GAN, which is a defect generator, it could generate the image which look almost realistic. And therefore, these such kind of images which are generated from style GAN, it confuses the model and hence there are misclassification. Another type of misclassification is real images getting predicted as a fake image. Some of the reasons that we could figure out from our results are the testing data which is provided by the challenge or already underwent certain attacks like blur, crop, rotation, etc. So there is a chance, there is slight possibility that our model has learned that rotation is associated with fake images. So like rotation, there are some patterns that model found out are common to both real as well as fake images. And that is the reason real images got predicted as fake images. And we believe with more enhancements to our model with respect to hyperparameter tuning or trying out different image resolution, we can further improvise this accuracy. Thank you. Thank you, Panika. And let's go to the project demo. So this is the website of our project, which contains three pages. The first page is about the project, where you can find the problem statement, the goal, and the list of contributors. Then you can find the project methodology, where the different tasks are described in details. And finally, you, find, you can find the API to our model, where you can have as an input an image, and then you can get, as a result, uh, a classification of the image, if it's real or deepfake. With that, we came to the end of the project. Thank you very much. Here was Amdena Munich chapter. Danke sehr und bis zum nächsten Mal.